um, it's my first conference, so I have no clue what to expect, really. But from what I've been told by people that have been before, it's really dramatic, or can be, at least. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing people that I saw at previous events, because I did get on with some people. But then I'm not looking forward to meeting new people, because I don't do very well with it. Hi, I'm Helen, and I'm VP of uh, Welfare. I'm looking forward to seeing how things are done on a national scale, but not sure what to expect from today. And the thing I'm dreading the most is the fact that it's a long day and my legs are feel like lead from yesterday. So <laughs> we'll see what happens. Alright guys, as you can see, I'm here at the National Conference at the uh, Amadillo building. It's quite fun out here, uh, loads of people coming through. There are people bombarding us with stickers, chocolate bars and stuff, so don't get bribed. So that's the campaign for me, uh, don't get bribed, yeah. Uh, but I would elect a person who is worth for it. So I will listen to all the speeches. I need to take your voice to the national conference. Let them know that deadly matters too. Thank you very much. Good. Everyone give me a wave. People didn't really treat the old president very well. Like, they were heckling her online and stuff, which isn't good. And the conference floor conference it was good in the respect that when because we had a guest from Ireland's NUS and they started talking about our I think it was article 8 the one about how they started the campaign to get abortion to be legal that that was good because she she made people want to listen to her uh, we finally all got our places and sat down, listened to all the speeches, and then it got down to um, motions, and that's when it started to get a bit confusing about the. I mean, because we had no prior information about what motions that were going to be passed. Um, so we had no background as to what they were. So we're quickly trying to download apps and stuff to try and get the information. So for the first half an hour of it all kicking off, we did a lot of trying to figure out because us being first time delegates, we didn't know. We just the information just was not there. So how are you feeling about conference today, Helen? I'm wound up. No, no, wound up? No, no. Yeah. Yeah? How come? Too many labels. Too many labels. How, why does everybody want to be pigeonholed? Yeah. And I think we should be getting rid of the pigeonholes and making everybody equal. Some of the speeches about the um, motions and the amendments were really good. But then there was, there was one in particular, it was about more support for... It was more... It was said more support for autistic people in student unions, but it was talking about invisible disabilities. But there's more than autism isn't the only invisible disability, and there was no talk about any other invisible invisible disabilities at all. And that still got passed, and that's a good thing. But then I think it needed to be changed to more support for invisible disabilities in general. As an apprentice underrepresented on the national scale, 
What's your point of view on the national conference as an apprentice? We're minorities. Uh, I believe we don't get represented accurately enough or represented at all. Uh, I think I heard the word apprentice said twice today. Uh, Helen over here said it was said three times, but since I was late today, I only heard it twice. So, yeah, that's all it is really. Uh, we need more exposure. We need the attention that the other sectors have. And yeah, that's what I think. And all this was especially difficult because I wasn't just fighting for my right to exist. I was fighting for the right for NUS to exist too. And conference, we made sure we will continue to exist. Then we had the closing speeches, which to be honest, really upset me not upset me personally but it upset i was upset for shakira um shakira had got up to do her speech and within the first few minutes of it she's literally heckled and for somebody that's done two years as the head of an organisation and hearing three days of people wanting respect for one another and recognition for one another and somebody just could not give Shakira that same courtesy and it really welled me up and it's left a very bittersweet taste in my mouth as for conference for me. And the funniest thing that happened all day was that one of the people that was going for NEC, um, no, not NEC, block of 15 even, he dressed up as a pepper, like actual full-on costume. But that was only because his name was Jacob Pepper. But his, his speech was funny and people actually wanted to listen. And that was really good. Thursday, well, that was a very controversial day, to be honest. Um, we had all the speeches for the block of 15, which is the um, 15 people that become the National Executive uh, Council, so they make the everybody accountable for what the job that they're doing. But... Um, one, there was a silent protest for every time this one chap spoke and I believe it was because he tried to shut down a conference a day early on the day on the Wednesday. So everybody stood up, turned around, put their back to it and because I'd missed Wednesday wasn't sure what was going on, <laughs> so I had to be feel Rachel sort of quickly filled me in on what the protest was for. But yeah, it was quite it was quite a shock to see ninety percent of conference stand up and turn around and turn the back to this person every time this person spoke. So overall conference is really good. I learned like different terminology and um, how to vote, which is quite cool. Um, I learned how to hold my tongue when I didn't like what people were saying because I'm quite, I don't really have a filter between my brain and my mouth most of the time. So I do say what I'm thinking and at conference that wouldn't have been a good idea. Overall, yes, it was a great experience. 
and I have learnt so much, especially about factions and universities and the difference that between each unions, everybody runs a union differently and some seem to have it together, some don't. But it made me appreciate our little union a hell of a lot more. NUS National Conference this year was a bit of a shock to me uh, as compared to last year uh, in 2018. It was ooh, a lot more divisive and uh, there was a lot more drama last year as well. So I was expecting more of the same and that to sort of follow on this year. But uh, having been to this year's National Conference and seeing how collaborative and the more serious attitude shared by the delegates there to actually fix the dire situation NUS is in, I feel that the movement has come together in order to fix what everybody has in common, and that is the love for national student democracy. So it was not quite what I, I was expecting. As uh, the previous delegate told me, it might be uh, dramatic, but it was not. It was really neutral. Uh, I strongly felt about a few motions and uh, they are turned into policies, so that's a great thing. And it was a pleasure to represent Dudley on the national level. Uh, and your person to their front of being called. Me, 